Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will quickly the think about how we can create some incredible forms in Revit, how we can use the tools from Revit and how to make your life more easy. Uh, here I already uh, got some um, pictures from internet and uh, we will talk about today boolean. So what does it mean boolean? Boolean you have two simple objects and you will combine it after that you will uh, just exclude union extrude and you will get your other form so you have the tree form you get the uh, one more form here you can see how we, we can use this uh, two simple uh, objects two simple cubes and after that we will get some three different objects like uh, we union that defense and interscription so as you see uh, it seems pretty simple but if we will look on this buildings uh, here actually they use uh, the same principles for all of this building and I will try to show you how you can create uh, not exactly these forms but you can follow these rules and you will get uh, exactly these forms so let's start it and first building what I plan to create is build will be this diamond building so uh, it looks like maybe complicated but actually this is simplest one from all of them so let's do it uh, what I need I will do I will create actually all everything on the 3d view and it doesn't matter about that so and I will use the component yes I will use component because it doesn't matter which one uh, I mean uh, mess, messing or components so I choose the components model in place and now I will choose the generic model let's say ok let's say ok if you want change the name change it and I will choose the uh, sweet blend use the, that one and now I will go to this view sketch the path set the uh, our work plane and now pick the plane let's pick this plane and now I will draw the sum line let's say like this okay right and let's say okay now I need the profile one and edit let's go to the top view and let's draw it for example I will start from here like I don't know uh, let's make like 20 meters by 20 meters like this and let's make like that now I will do the one more line for example now I need 5 meter only 5 meter here, 5 meter here and now from the middle of this side I will put the line and one more line now I will use the TR for the trim and I will trim everything like this ok nice now I will select everything except three of the line only this line on only corner and now let's mirror it mirror mirror and again mirror so now we can delete these lines and we uh, we will uh, select all of these lines and I will copy it click copy on the clipboard let's say ok let's see on the 3d so this is our um, first floor now we should create the uh, top floor let's go to the second profile edit profile paste levels and let's say level 5 oh it cannot be on the level 5 let's say on the level 2 it doesn't matter all level 4 it cannot be okay let's do on the level 2 yes it can be actually level 2 it's not at level 2, two it's the our top uh, highest one the level it doesn't matter we're creating the only shape now so what I'm gonna do now now I will select everything except again the this reference line and I will use rescale here and I need scale from that side for example to that side let's say like this and let's say ok now let's go back actually the building it's so, so big so tall it cannot be like that 
and we can change it actually go to the sketch and let's say our building will be like um, I don't know maybe 50 meters like this and okay and apply as you see we get our shape so why not it looks like sorry it's like this like this so we get the shape also we can get the we can draw this shape by other uh, model so uh, you can can go now to the extrusion and ah, okay I will show you it will be better for you guys I think it will be useful actually now I am going to the extrusion after extrusion I am choosing the pick the line now I will pick all this line oh sorry back all these lines like this by top key oh my god okay I will do this cannot be why cannot be uh, let's say no I don't wanna do that and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do just copy of that side first level I will copy all of them except the middle one copy let's say okay let's say okay let's go to extrusion and now I wanna paste it to the first level it's already here Oh, because uh, it's need to, to be rotate. Okay, I got it. So let's go back. Let's go set the plane, pick up the plane, pick the, this plane. And now let's paste it again. Let's paste it on the first level. As you see, everything now okay. Let's say okay. And now just extrude it. So ta-da. So we spend like uh, for everything uh, less than five minutes and you get this shape really cool. So uh, now cl quickly let's uh, check this shape. Um, so I will apply. Oh, sorry. I will apply that and let's create this shape. And so now I will go to the uh, some elevation view. Uh, let's I'll hide this one. Uh, for example, 3D left view and now we will create one more component So let's create the one more component model in place after that I will choose for example uh, Generic model actually you can always use generic model because like this is uh, some general things So let's go to the create revolve and now I, before I will start to draw I will choose the my work plane so let's pick up the work plane, any vertical work plane. Let's say I will use this one as references. And now I will create my axis line. So let, let's draw the axis line. After that, I will go to the boundary. I will choose, for example, that side from that one to that side. And no matter from where you draw it, because we are drawing just only profile of it. And let's say, okay, as you see, we get our ball. So we are not finished. So let's go to the create and let's choose the extrusion. Now we will create some uh, cubes. Let's one here, one here, maybe smaller here, and one bigger here. Why not? And let's say it's 25,000. I think it's not enough, but we will see. Let's say OK. Let's go to 3D. Yes, it's not enough, as I said. Let's feel like 50,000. Who knows? And let's extrude it like this. I will do like this. Okay, nice. So now we need cut. We need only the cut from this one from this one. But we cannot do that because this is uh, also the uh, solid form. We need click on the solid form and change the category from solid to the void. Let's say it's solid to the void. And now we are able to cut it. Cut this one to that one. So and let's say finish. So as you see, we get our shape and yeah, you can you can uh, improve it and make it more 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 looks like that one. And I think I will improve it uh, this shape with you guys because uh, I want to show you the some tricky ways, not only the some simple things. Let's go to the again architecture. Let's go to the again to component edit and place and let's use again generic model. Yes, let's say yes, and now we're going again to the revolve, and let's pick the our plane again as we did it before. 
Now it doesn't matter, we need some vertical vertical thing like this one. And now I will draw the again axis line. So uh, yes, I can see the middle. It's uh, really important about that one. And let's draw the our boundary line. So now I need to understand uh, where is the my middle of the sh this shape. I cannot, yes, I cannot. Uh, yeah, I can draw it here. I think so. Let's try it because I need the shape of this. Uh, it's a bit hard to understand. <laughs> okay, I will do like this. Oh, sorry. This some tricky way. I hope so. No way. It's not tricky way. Anyway, no matter about that one. Let's draw the sum kind of. So as you see, because I cannot draw exactly one. Anyway, I will draw something like. Uh, let's draw, draw, draw like uh, this one. And after that, I will draw the one more line here. And let's say OK. We get the other shape. Uh, now I will go again to the extrusion and I again will pick the plane, this one. Let's uh, make it uh, here. One more here, one here, the, I mean the this uh, shape and one more here. Okay, and again let's create like 50,000. Is it 50,000? No, it's too much. Now it's 50,000. And let's say OK. Well, now I will switch on to the 3D view because I want to see what's going on here. I will do it like this. OK. Uh, I will extend it here. Now everything seems OK. Yes. And now I will change it again to the void and cut from this uh, the small uh, void. I mean, oh, cycle, I mean, as you see, now we don't have any uh, any shapes inside of that one. And let's say, okay, so why I did that? Your first question. Oh, before I will, before I will answer on your question, wait, I, I will, I will improve it. Like this. Okay, why I did it? Uh, if you will go to the massing inside and you will choose the curtain system, uh, as you see, we're able to create the curtain system uh, here. So it means you can create the windows inside of that. Let's create here and here. We will choose the this one, but uh, I will change it to the, um, let's say the um, p -p -p fix it number. Uh, why not fix it number? Let's say mm, 15 by 15. Who knows? And let's say, okay, create the system. As you see, we really get the nice shape. And here outside, this is uh, the our concrete, and inside we have the glass. So uh, by this way, you can create the really nice forms. As you see, I spent like three or five minutes. So no matter. So the next form, let's let's use the next form. Let's make the dead one. Actually, this is really pretty simple form. We will create it fast. So let's go to the next. Uh, I will go to the first level plan. Just double click. Uh, actually, let's go to the side because we can see exactly what's going on here. And now I will use again to the component model in place. Uh, if you will ask me why I'm using model in place, why I'm don't using ge ge uh, not generic model mess. Actually, uh, in mess uh, I don't have so much the tools. Uh, yes, I can I can create that without any any of these tools. But here, we, why not? Uh, I will use the extrusion for now. Let's create some uh, kind of the shape like this. And 50,000, yeah, it's what we want. Uh, let's go back to the 3D, and as you will see, oh, 50,000, this one, and I want to create like this, because this is tall building, but not so big one. So uh, what's the next? As you see, oh, it's a bit big inside, so. Uh, too much extrusion. Like this, why not? So now I will go to again to the site. Uh, now I need to use the um, sweep. Let's use the sweep. 
Oh, so let's go back to the uh, our view, and now, now I will use the path. I need this path and this path, like this. Now I'm able to go to the uh, site level, and now I'll create the profile. Let's create the profile. As you see, this is uh, fillet, fillet uh, ages. So I think we can use uh, like this. Yes, we can. Okay, and let's close it. Because this is profile. Let's say OK. Let's go back to 3D view and let's say OK. We get the something wrong here because it's not going the curve, but we can fix it. How we can do that? Let's go back. Uh, let's no. Let's say OK. I will go here. Now I will uh, change the extrusion. And as you see, we just making the cube. This is wrong. We will do it the other way. Uh, so I will leave that shape like this and I will create new one here. Now I will create the cube by left view. Uh, ta -ta -ta, let's say for this one, okay. Let's create new component, a model in place, a generic model. Okay, and now I need the extrusion and set the plane. Pick the plane and let's say this one plane will be. Let's create, for example, the same same size. I'll try it the same because I don't want to spend more, much time for that one. And here I will create the uh, like radius, maybe five meter. Who knows? Let's check it. No, it's not enough five meter. We will use uh, maybe 25 meters. Yes, this is what I want. And let's say OK. Now I will use command align to create the pretty same uh, thickness. So here we are. And now let's go back to the create. See, I'm still inside of the model. Uh, let's go back to create and we will use the sweep again. Sweep uh, by path and I will use this path. And let's say OK. Now we will use the edit profile and we will switch our view to the side view. Now again, let's create center to the ends arc like this and just one more line like this. And now let's apply it. Let's go to 3D. Let's say OK. Ta-ta! This is what I want. Actually, you can even do join of them. And now you can get the uh, really nice shape. So let's say OK. Now you're able to go to the messing and site and create the curtain, uh, curtain wall uh, with that side like this, like this and like this. And let's make it like 15 here, 15 here. Of course, you should play with the uh, numbers. Let's create it. And as you see, we get our shape. We can do it even here. Why not? Let's create it. But we are trying to do that type because our building of that, it's kind of looks like that one, as you see. So, and as you understand, the last uh, thing uh, for this, this tutorial will be this building. Uh, you think this building is more complex that, than we have before. But actually, this is simplest one building than we have. So let's create it. Now I will back to the my uh, to the my work plane. So here we are. Uh, first, what we're gonna do? I will go to the left view. Uh, again, I choose the uh, component model in place, generic model. Where is my generic model here? Let's say okay. Name doesn't matter. Create, and we will use again sweep. Let's use the sweep, and now we will uh, sketch our path. So let's sketch, but before I will sketch, I will choose the my work plane. As you see now, it's the um, plan uh, level one, but I'll change it to this, for example. So let's create it uh, like uh, now I just doing the everything approximately. So you can do it more correct, more right. But I am. I'm OK with that now. So now I will mirror it like this. And as you see, we get now bad things here. So we can it uh, make like more curve. Just use the radius for that one, like this. And let's say OK. So as you see, we get kind of same shape. Of course, if I will spend like maybe 15 minutes 
I will get the more nice result. Okay. And now we will uh, edit the profile. And for that one, I will go to the side view. Here we are. And now we will use the ellipse for that one. So let's choose the, our middle point, uh, extend it, and let's do kind of same shape, maybe like this. Let's check it. Yes, kind of same. Let's say OK. Let's back to the 3D view because I want to show you on the 3D. And let's say OK. As you see, we get same shape. Uh, but that one we don't like, right? So we can go to the left view. Just don't finish it. Let's go to the back view or the left. Doesn't matter. Extrusion. Uh, let's extrude it. Let's say like this. And let's say OK. Now I'll uh, switch to isometric view and let's uh, a bit extrude it like this. Now we'll change to the void and I will use the cut this form from that one. Okay, for those who are interesting why I'm not creating the void form. Because sometimes when you're creating the void form, uh, you cannot see exactly where is this. Well, n now you can see. Now it's void and you cannot exactly see where is your form. That's why first I'm creating the extrusion, uh, checking like I'm okay with this form. If I'm okay, I'm changing it to the void. Only for that reason. So as you see, we get our the shape. Uh, let's apply it. And now, of course, you able again go to the mess uh, curtain wall, and let's change it again also here for 15 numbers. And now we're able to apply it. So just let's select everything like this, as you can see, and let's create the system. Let's wait it, wait it, wait it. Hold on, hold on. It will take time. Okay, here we are. As you see, we get our shape. Of course, here it's a bit not right. Here the our network is so small, but you can change it manually uh, or you can leave it like that if you want to. So that's it. That's it about the forms. Uh, now we now you know the how create from the simplest one to the complex one. Now you understand like you can uh, uh, combine some different ideas in your uh, in your models and uh, also you can combine the different shapes to get more clear the result uh, for example you can mm, create this building also like five minutes you just extrude the uh, main shape and after that just make the void that's it sweep you can use the sweep here for example that one it's also the simple building you just creating the uh, main shape and after that you just uh, extrude uh, it by sweep here or you can use the just only um, extrusion so that's it guys uh, boolean things in, in Revit working not bad you can use it you can create thank you for watching and see you next time and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.